Welcome to another episode of Sippy Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make potato and cheese Frank's casserole. Oh, uh, the casserole dish. I've already got it greased and I just sliced up three good sized potatoes. I peeled them and I sliced them up. And then a 12 ounce package of some hot dogs. Um, you can use the tofu dogs that works wonderful in this dish. And then I uh, chopped up, only chopped up a half of an onion. You see it here. And it's all mixed up in the casserole dish. Now we're going to make the cheesy gravy Velveeta sauce to go over. So in the skillet I got it heating up already with one fourth cup of oil. And we're going to put in one fourth cup of flour. I'm going to need one more tablespoon of oil. Maybe put too much flour in it. <laughs> and this is just oil and flour. And we're just going to stir this around and let this raw flour taste cook out of this for about a minute or two. Next we're going to put in about two cups or more of milk. You're going to make it like you're making gravy. So give it a minute and keep this going to get all the lumps out and all thicken a little bit. It just depends on how thick or how thin you want your cheese sauce to be. That's how much milk you're going to use. I've also got my oven preheated up to 350 degrees. Okay, it's starting to thicken on me. You can see how it's getting a little bit thicker. While that's thickening, we're going to put in two cups of cubed Velveeta cheese. I just keep it up because it's easier. To me, it melts. It melts better. Like this, it comes in a block. You know what I'm talking about. They even have it in shredded form with the shredded cheese too. If you don't want to get the block. Now we're just going to wait till the velvet starts melting in here, and then we'll just if we need more milk or not. I think we're okay on the milk part, so I'm not going to put any more in. I am going to give it some pepper. And some salt. And then I'm going to give it a good tablespoon, a squirt of yellow mustard. Now I'm just basically going to pour over top of my casserole dish over here. I'll start with half of it. Then I'm going to try to push it down in the nooks and crannies. Yeah. Just want to make sure. You get some cheese in each spot. You, know, you want your potatoes and your hot dogs and stuff covered in the cheese. As good as you can get. Okay, I'm gonna put some aluminum foil over the top. Now I'm gonna stick it in the oven at 350 degrees. And cook to your Tatters get done and tender. And the reason I cover it with a little bit of oil, I thought it might lock in some of the steam and get the potatoes uh, get in tender fast and, uh, and the cheese will overpower and stuff. Okay, our casserole is done. Now I took it out, it took about an hour for the tatters to get good and tender for me. And so I took it out, took out the foil halfway, 30 minutes into the baking time. And started because I was kind of worried about the cheese sauce, how it wasn't coated and everything. And I was afraid there's going to be places where cheese didn't get, but, but I forgot what the potatoes put out their juices too, so it's going to mix with everything. So I went in hand and with this fork and just mixed everything real good, make sure everything was still good and coated. Covered it back up with a little, it's a little bit of foil, stuck it back in the oven for another 30 minutes, and then brought it back out, took off the little bit of foil. Put my oven under broil and let it broil to your liking, to your top. And you know it's dinner because the potatoes are breaking up on me. This is a wonderful main dish. Just serve it with some veggies and there you have it. There's your dinner. This is a dish that I grew up eating. My Aunt Pimmy used to make this all the time. I haven't had it in probably since, oh, the late 80s. Um, so this dish was probably popular in the 70s and stuff 70s and 80s but there you have it potato cheese and frank's casserole